Hey there guys, welcome to Anthony Reviews, where Anthony Reviews. And it is that time of year, for those of you who are new to the channel, usually about the January, February time of the year, I like to do a huge action figure collection tour, which is at this point basically just an apartment tour. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at my collection, my girlfriend's collection, pretty much our collection here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We've got tons of DC, Marvel, Transformers, wrestling, Power Rangers, a whole bunch of different stuff. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So here we have the apartment here. Just a quick overlook. Um, some slightly different things, obviously. This is the year, or I guess post the year of the pandemic of COVID-19. So I work from home with my girlfriend. So you'll notice from previous videos, it's a little bit different this year. But uh, there's Ray. Uh, Ray doing the tradition of reading while I'm filming. What are we reading today? Edward's book. Edward's book, Midnight Sun. Yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's start with, speaking of Ray, Ray's collection. So Ray is a big fan of uh, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. So up top here, we have all the Jurassic Park pops as of yet. So, you know, we've got Jeffy Goldblum up top with Ellie Sattler in the Jeep. This is not Jurassic Park. This is actually the newest at the time, uh, Power Rangers Dino Fury Morpher. Uh, it's just, we have nowhere to put it right now, so it goes up there. But here's a look at the the pops. So yeah, she's a big, big Jurassic Park fan, as we'll see with the rest of the shelf. So here's sort of an assortment of non-Mattel themed sort of dinosaur stuff. So as you see, we got, we got Power Rangers. Now we've got Dino Charge. We've got an autograph from Brennan Mejia who of course was in Dino Charge, and we've got uh, representing Adam, her favorite Power Ranger there, Mighty Morphin Black. And then we do have some some Mattel Jurassic Park stuff, but not a, not a whole lot. We've got some new Transformers here from the new War for Cybertron Kingdom series. We've got some, uh, some vehicles. We've got some commemorative Dr. Pepper cans from, I think, when Fallen Kingdom was coming out. There is a Land Before Time puppet, some older Jurassic Park toys. So yeah, just an assortment of dinosaur-themed things. And then here we have, like, the main bulk of the Mattel Jurassic Park Jurassic World toy line. So, you see, when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. So if you're a Jurassic Park fan, I'm sure you'll understand that. She's got a book. It's collecting the, the two books there, signed by Mr. Goldblum. And then just an assortment of park-themed dinosaurs. So not world, but specifically park, as you can see there. Moving down, we have some more, like, I guess, moments. So you've got the big Spino, which is pretty pretty neat. Hard one to find, for sure. Even though they're, they're re-releasing it now, but with a different paint job. Uh, we've got all the Raptors with little Chris Pratt, so that's nice for him. We've got the exclusive, convention exclusive uh, Hammond with the egg and the entrance there, and then just the Jeep with, with some other characters as well inside, so there's that. Moving down, here are all pretty much the extras, so this is the World Dinosaurs. A lot of dinosaurs released when uh, Fallen Kingdom was coming out, so whole bunch of, of cool stuff here. So just some, some colorful, wacky characters. I don't even know how many of these are in the movie. Probably not that many, but, you know, it's dinosaurs. Then down here, we've got some of the big boys. We've got the Mosasaurus Indoraptor. You guys remember the part in the movie where the Indoraptor, uh, like, winked at the camera? And then the Indominus Rex, sort of protecting this Nightwing plushie that's just sort of there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but the dino fun doesn't stop. We've got some more dinosaur stuff. Obviously, we have the Brachiosaur. He's smiling. We have an Ember Collection Raptor. Still in box, just because there's really no anywhere to put it elsewhere. And then we've got uh, some good old Wayne Knight collection here. So uh, this was this is an exclusive as well. Very totally unappreciated in my time. But you press it, it says some words. It's cute. So so yeah. Uh, moving over. Uh, oh, I, real quick, I guess here's here's the baby, baby Yoda. He's we got him. Is uh, yeah, you know he's here. We have a lot of plushes. 
really went wild with the Pokemon plushes this year, if we're being honest. But we've got some various other plushes as well. Uh, you know, some video game stuff and some various other wacky characters. So there's that. Moving over here, we've got the McFarlane, what is this called? Curse of the White Knight figures. So we've got Joker and Azrael and Azbat and Batman himself. And then, of course, you can't have a apartment without, move it, water bottle, uh, without the two disc special edition of Brother Bear displayed there. So that's what's really, really important. Uh, real quick, we do have these nice sort of art pieces, I guess, just showing off like Marvel and DC characters. That was a gift from uh, Draco's father. I'm just kidding. It was a, girl, it was a gift from my girlfriend's uh, mom. But if I quote Harry Potter, maybe that'll get some Harry Potter fans. I don't have any Harry Potter merch here, so don't, don't, um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's move over, shall we? Uh, this is the TV, as you can tell, and we've got some more McFarlane figures. I've got some, some Bat family folk right here. I'm seeing Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl. Still don't have a Batman. I'm not the biggest fan of the standard Batman, and I just haven't picked up the other one that they've released, meaning the one with, like, the axes and the, the sort of torn up suit, but... Here's Flash and Superman, really good figures. Uh, Superman was pretty close to being on my top 10 this year, but I just really like that Flash figure. It's really, really good. But moving down, we have some Transformers. So we've got uh, Ratchet is my girlfriend's favorite Transformer. This past year in 2020, she really got into Transformers. And so she started collecting sort of Ratchet and Ratchet adjacent characters. So all sorts of versions of Ratchet and other medical characters. Uh, that's a bunch of Kirby's not really related. And then down below, uh, my personal favorite, Starscream. So I've got a huge collection of Starscream figures, you know, various versions throughout the years, whole bunch of stuff. So very cool. On the side here, we have the Wicked Cool Toys Jazzwares Halo figures. So we've got the Warthog and Master Chief there. And then the larger Master Chief. A uh, cool figure um, with some QC issues, though. So that's why it's in the box, to be honest. But yeah, you know, some, some consoles here and there. Nothing, nothing too special in that regard. But let's move over here to the figures. So here we mainly have a DC Universe display. Mainly at a DC Universe Classics and other Mattel figures. But we'll have some other ones as well. But here is the Justice League or at least Justice League characters, I would say. So, very nice. Uh, DC Universe Classics is one of the lines that really got me into toy collecting. So I, I don't think I'd be collecting six inch scale like action figures if it weren't for DC Universe Classics. So very, very big fan of this, this series here. Down below, we've got some more like Titan themed characters. So you've got the main sort of Titans back there. And then more modern renditions of the characters. I say modern, modern with quotes, of course, around it because, you know, they're only modern for so long. And sometimes they release certain versions of characters, but not other versions of characters. So it's like, technically they shouldn't go there, but whatever. Here's some sort of rebirth DC multiverse characters. And then more just sort of like other DC universe characters as well. So, you know, there's, there's that. Going down here, we have sort of the collections. So we have a Batman family section here, all sorts of Bat family characters. You know, this Damian Wayne is not, and he's sort of fallen over there, but uh, he's not a Mattel. Obviously, this is a DC Icons Damian, but it, I didn't want him being taller than Tim, so I had to sort of put him in there, but he, he works. Honestly, that might be a more accurate scale depending on the, the version you're thinking of. And then some more. Batman back there. We've got sort of the Blackest Night, Brightest Day crew, you know, the, the various Lantern Corps characters. Beautiful. I, I mean, I, I, I love I love my Lanterns. If you know me, you know Hal Jordan's my favorite character, and we'll, we'll get into more Hal Jordans later, don't worry. Uh, of course, uh, they never did an Indigo 1 character. Mattel never did. So that's a DC Direct figure, and then that's a Brightest Day Dead Man, which is also a DC Direct then here we've got some Superman, Reign of the Superman, 
very popular 90 story that's still popular to this day and then other variations of mattel's superman characters going down again we have some villains so starting on this side, we have uh, some Batman characters here. We've got Killer Croc in the back. Once again, that Mr. Freeze is a DC Direct. I think he just scales a little bit better, in my opinion. And then we've got the Legion of Doom right here. Not a whole lot of members. It's mainly just because a lot of the main characters you're thinking of, like Gorilla Grodd, Solomon Grundy, Giganta, they're all collecting connects. And at this point in time, they're just pretty expensive. And then just sort of a hodgepodge of other villains here. You know, Amazo, KG Beast. Not a lot of heavy hitters, but just some, some various DC supervillains. Down below, we have the Nightwing and Deathstroke section. Uh, Nightwing is one of my favorite characters. It's one of my girlfriend's favorite characters. And Deathstroke is definitely one of my favorite characters. And to me, they go hand in hand. Um, you know, within like the last few years, they've kind of changed that a bit, but... Uh, yeah, I think Deathstroke is Dick Grayson's, you know, Joker, his Lex Luthor, his main antagonist. So I like to put them sort of side by side. Very cool. There's all the Deathstroke stuff. Various, various figures here. We've got, you know, Mattel, DC Direct. We've got um, even a McFarlane back there, the new edition, the red Nightwing right there. So... Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. Moving down here is a hodgepodge of just various DC characters. You know, we've got some Superman family. We've got some Gordons. Uh, we've got just a little Lex Luthor section there. So yeah, just whatever random DC stuff that doesn't warrant its own shelf tends to sort of just be uh, packaged together down here. But that is the main bulk of the DC collection. So obviously not the only DC stuff in the apartment, but definitely where most of it goes. And then to sort of accompany it, we have the Marvel Legends collection here. So we, we have some more Marvel Legends, but uh, this is really where most of them I would, I would say go. So let's just go ahead and start up here. We've got the Guardians of the Galaxy and the space theme characters. We've got the Fantastic Four. We've got some street level characters. I really like this because Marvel has always felt like and has been presented as a universe. You know, a lot of the characters live in the same place. They cross over all the time. So to have them all on one shelf to really represent the feeling of having a Marvel universe is really, really cool in my opinion. Got the new Falcon that came out this past year. Very, very cool. You know, I know it's not purely a classic Falcon, but it still, it fits the bill more so than previous figures. Looks nice. X-Men there. And then down here, we mainly have villains and then, of course, the Spider-Man collection. So let's start over here with these villains. Just, you know, regular villains. We've got Red Skull and Doctor Doom and Iron Monger, and you really can't see them back there, but it's uh, Abomination. <laughs> yeah, you really can't see them too well, but what are you going to do? But various villains. Down below, we have the Dark Avengers. Uh, you know, that unfortunately, we'll never seem to be able to finish without the proper dark Miss Marvel, but that'll have to do for now. But nice, nice group there. And as I mentioned before, here is the Spider-Man collection. Beautiful group of figures here. So many different versions of Spider-Man. If I collected just Spider-Man, I'd probably have a big enough collection, but, you know, there's, there's, there's some good stuff there. I apologize if you hear anyone outside our apartment. You know, we do live in an apartment complex, so other people live in the same building. I, there's only so much I can do, but Spider-Man stuff. I'm not a big pop collector, to be honest, but I do have some Marvel pops here, and some of them are my girlfriends. Honestly, there's going to be a point where we see a lot more pops, and they pretty much all belong to my girlfriend. So but there's, there's a few characters. Sure. <laughs> Next up, the Spider-Man villains, because Spider-Man's got enough villains to sort of warrant their own shelves. You know, just various, various iconic villains over the years. Pretty cool. Um, and then down below, we have even more Spider-Man villains, because Spider-Man just has that many villains. I tried to set it up in a way that made sense, so we have more like, I don't know, Sinister Six type characters, you know, with like Mysterio and Sandman back there. And then more be more like, 
criminal underworld. So that's one like Kingpin and Hammerhead and, and Green Goblin in a sense. Uh, it, there's versions that sort of depict it that way. So, you know, maybe more bank robbery than, say, the other ones. But I don't, I don't know. You know, you, you could put either ones in, in certain sections. I feel like there's an argument to be made why, you know, Rhino and Scorpion and Shocker should be up there versus Venom and Carnage. But you, you get the idea, I would say. Give me a break. There's so many figures. You try to make sense of it. What? Main bulk of the Marvel Universe there. Let's head to the kitchen. We've got some Oni Plays art. Big fan of Oni Plays in this household. We've got some... Remember Mattel's Batman Missions figures? Well, there, there they are. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed remembering. Let's move to the kitchen. We do have some stuff in the kitchen. So up top on the fridge here, we have Superman, big Superman. Got an Infinity Gantlet. I know it's Gauntlet, I'm just saying words. A Dundee. That was a birthday gift many years ago. Nightwing statue. A uh, DVD signed by Mr. Kevin Conroy. We've got Flick and Batman, the crossover that we never got, but maybe someday. And then another signed Blu-ray of Spectacular Spider-Man signed by Josh Keaton. And then a, 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 a I don't know what that is. We've got more stuff up here. We've got some uh, Robin merch from the film Batman and Robin. We have an Edward Cullen doll. We have Voltron. Pretty cool looking Voltron. And then we've got some Power Rangers stuff. So we have the uh, all vintage. You know, these are all original sort of vintage pieces. Various Megazords, some figures. And then right here we have a Morpher from Megaforce. And then we also have this VHS, which is signed by several, I'm trying to get the glare out of the way, but several cast members. So very cool. Not a complete sort of signatures on there. I still need some, but either way, just some small collection pieces up here. Moving over here, we have the Batman Superman corner. So we've got Batman Superman up top. We have some Superman figures. Various lines, like I said, Mattel. We've got some DC collectibles, DC Direct. We've got uh, Superman and Doomsday. This was a DC Icons two-pack here. Very cool. And then below, we've got some Batman figures. Once again, it's various designs, various figures that I enjoy. And then down here, we have the Dark Knight Rises show off of Batman and Bane. Very cool. So because I started working from home, I had to go ahead and get a setup here. Uh, this is the recliner that I sit in, and then I sort of get my work done here. But I do have some figures. So we've got that uh, reissue of Bumblebee <laughs> with a Marvel Universe Cyclops and a Met uh, has Wait, no, sorry. It is Mattel, but it's meant to make it look like a Hasbro Retro sort of Kurt Angle figure. And then just a Batman and a Captain America because I don't really have any work for them to go, so they go on my desk. So that's nice, right? I guess. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, we're not done yet. We have Invincible figures. Uh, Invincible is one of my, my girlfriend's favorite sort of comic book series. Uh, you know, it's independent, so that's really cool. And I think at one point she just saw that she would have the ability to purchase all of these. And she did. So, you know, there's uh, basically regular versions of the two characters and then bloody variants which is kind of kind of neat i never read invincible uh, maybe i will someday and there's that new amazon animated series with robert kirkman involved so i'll be checking that out and here we have i guess the biggest piece of my girlfriend's collection is her black widow slash winter soldier collection bucky net uh this is some, some random sort of captain america stuff over here some leftovers I had, some stuff she already had, and then some more Marvel Universe figures. There's an Ant-Man pop. Um, I don't know why she has an Ant-Man pop. She bought it when she thought she liked Ant-Man more than she did, so. There's some more pops. Like I said, pops are way more her thing, so she has a huge collection of, of Natasha and, of course, Bucky Barnes pop figures. She does have two hot toys, the Infinity War Winter Soldier, and the uh, Endgame, Natasha Romanoff. So 
I realize I keep swapping between names between Black Widow, Natasha, Bucky, Winter Soldier. So, they're, you, you guys, they're the same. You, you, you know, I don't have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> There's some various just things that she has, things she likes, whatever. And then here's the really big bulk of Marvel Legends figures and various other Bucky and uh, Nat figures here. Of course, the Black Widow movie, she bought a lot of figures from <laughs> the Black Widow movie. The movie that still hasn't come out yet as of yet, so. And maybe it will someday. Maybe someday. This is an interesting figure. So this figure is part of the, I think, uh, Australasia kind of collection. Pretty much over there, they like to do this sort of, I think it's in Europe as well. They do like a best of series where they release a bunch of movie figures in a wave. Um, and so this is exclusive. This is exclusive across the world, except for the U.S. This did not come out in the U.S. And so our buddy Kirk, uh, who lives in Australia, was able to get this and pick this up for her. So thanks again, Kirk. We still have some some little bits here and there. This is just her her work, and you know she's got some various things displayed. So signed things, figures, where you know not a not a whole lot of crazy stuff, but it is what it is. So. There's that, and as you can see, I'm pulling back to more Marvel Legends. You didn't think we were done. I know if you've seen other videos on my channel, you're like, I thought that guy had like a bunch of X-Men figures. Well, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a whole bunch of Mary Marvel mutants. We've got the really just a lot of like 90s, 80s designs here. Pretty much the designs that everyone remembers <laughs> is nostalgia for. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's cool. Um, I do have a video so showing off each individual figure on my channel, so if you'd like to see these more in-depth, feel free to check that out, but here they are on display for now. Very cool. Uh, down here, we have the Captain America shelf. For those of you who don't know, it is my personal goal to have uh, every Marvel Legends release of Captain America. So if it's under the Marvel Legends banner, then I will, will purchase it. But a lot, of, a lot of cool figures here. We've got movie figures, comic figures, big figures. You know, these are technically Marvel Legends, or at least Marvel Legends-esque. But, yeah, I've got I've got quite a few. I think I'm only missing a couple here and there. But, you know, we'll, we'll get them someday. But tons of, tons of Captain America. There's, there's the Hydra Cap, like, hiding. Well, he's evil, you know? He can't be around all these guys. They'd, they'd beat him up. But tons of, tons of really cool figures here. Uh, this shelf is empty. <laughs> um, as you can see, I would like to keep this all Marvel related. So uh, I just don't have any Marvel figures to really put here. At least that would fit and look right. And uh, to be honest, uh, we plan on moving this year, sometime later this year. So spoiler alert, this may be the last collection video in this apartment. Maybe, definitely. And so uh, there's no point really building a shelf to only take that down in a few months anyway. But here we have the Thanos collection. Thanos, another personal favorite of mine. So we've got a, uh, just a bunch of the different Thanos-related stuff. So pretty cool. Then down below, my girlfriend is a big fan of Logan and Laura Kinney, X-23. So she has a nice collection of various Wolverine figures, which you will also see in my X-Men collection video. So pretty neat. Then one shelf down, just like the DC shelf, this is just a hodgepodge of various Marvel things that I just, I either have doubles of characters or, you know, stuff that I, I just, I like too much, my girlfriend likes too much to truly get rid of. But there's, there's some fun stuff down here. Like I said, it's just, it's random. It's absolutely random. There's some wrestling stuff on those figures there. Uh, yeah, it is, it is what it is. Uh, but that's the, the main bulk of the apartment. We are not finished yet. We still have uh, more to cover. So let's just, let's just jump into it. Let's go. So right here, we have the Star Wars shelves. You can see my shadow on the wall. So that is uh, my Hot Toys Anakin figure. Let's see, I did a video on this guy as well. My first ever Hot Toys figure. I quite like him. He's great. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, I really don't like the movie as a movie, but I have a lot of nostalgia for it because I was 10 years old when it came out. So. <laughs> movie good? 
uh, no. Um, is is this figure cool? Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, there's a big Star Wars. No, it's not big, but there's a Star Wars poster. We have some sort of three and three quarter inch figures here. Um, the light makes that lightsaber look way more purple than it actually is. I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't look blue, but it's not that purple either. But just various bits and pieces. We've got some Legos back there. And just a bunch of three and three quarter inch guys. That's all it is. Some I have nostalgia for. Some I just find the characters either likable or funny. More Legos. Yeah. And then down here, we have the Black Series figures. So up top, I have sort of the, I guess, the prequels and the original trilogy. So we've got Obi-Wan and Maul and Dooku. And then we've got the prequels, obviously, continued with, like, Anakin and Obi-Wan. And we've got some clones and Ahsoka. Well, and then there's Cad Bane back there. We've got Vader, who's sort of bridging the gap. Because, you know, he's in, he's in prequels and sequels. And, well... Prequels and originals, and I guess he's not really in a sequel. Like, he is, but he, it's his head. Is there, like, a skull in there? Either way, very cool Darth Vader figure. like it quite a bit. And then we've got some Empire Strikes Back, and then, of course, Return of the Jedi stuff back there. Very cool. Down here, we have uh, some alternative media. So we've got, like, video game characters and TV characters. So we've got the... I almost forgot what this is called. Jedi Fallen Order characters. They are Cal Kestis and whatever number, second sister, I think. Could be wrong, could be fifth, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Uh, we've got some Rebels. We've got the Rebels cast. Uh, some of these are like the new scan figures and some of them are not. And then of course we have Thrawn back there, which I just picked up the archive wave for. But And then we have some Mando figures. Uh, I haven't picked up a lot of the newer Mandos and obviously I only have the sort of beat up episode one Mandalorian, but maybe at some point I'll get some more Mando figures, but for now, this is all I got. And then down here we have pretty much the only representation of the new trilogy, which is Rey and Kylo. Uh, Rey and Kylo, favorite characters from the sort of new trilogy there. I know some Star Wars fans are going to complain about Rey and, and whatnot, but I, I, uh, we, we like Rey and Kylo in this house. Uh, we've got Jaina, Jane of Solo, of course, no longer canon, but cool figure nonetheless. We've got some Rogue One figures, everyone's favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, of course, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't like Rogue One at all. Then there is Solo, which I actually like more than Rogue One, but it's still not it's still not great now, is it? There's some more pops, but there's the Star Wars collection there. Beautiful, beautiful collection of everyone's favorite sci-fi franchise to hate yeah anyways let's go to the bedroom shall we so here is the bedroom let's start up here we have a captain america shield it's nothing special it's like a flimsy one that you get at like party city it was basically just given to me and i've held on to it ever since we have some uh retro carded figures up there got those a few years back um we've got some ninja turtles figures now, I know these are just re-releases. They're nothing special. Uh, but we've got, you know, just retro figures on, you know, re-release. This was re-released a couple years ago, and they're still re-releasing the same figures today. So they're popular. I'll give them that. So that's cool. Okay. And then over here, the big granddaddy of the collection. <laughs> we've got my Hell Jordan collection. I will reiterate... Hal Jordan is my favorite fictional character, so I have to have, you know, a huge Hal Jordan collection. Uh, we've got an art piece there, just given to me. Uh, there's a Parallax figure. I love Parallax. I wish there were more Parallax figures. We've got some Mattel figures in box. It's got White Lantern Hal and Black Lantern Hal and just a standard Hal. And then, yeah, here's a nice, nice look at all the various Hal Jordans. Once again, a, a bunch of different companies, a, a bunch of different designs. It's it's you know, if it's Hal Jordan, I I will want it. It's a simple. I mean, I've even got Ryan Reynolds. You know, I I do not discriminate in that regard. Does that mean I love the Green Lantern movie? No. <laughs> that was a, a very specific reference. If 
If you get it, you get it. Please comment below if you understood what I just referenced. But tons of, tons of Hal Jordans. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. I love it. I love it. I really, I really do. Then down below, we have a bit of a Harley Quinn collection. Uh, my girlfriend is a big fan of the classic Harley Quinn, not so much newer Harley Quinn or movie Harley Quinn, but she loves the classic stuff. She actually has way more Harley stuff. It's just not here. Um, she moved here almost four years ago now, and uh, her family just never sent it. So if her family's watching this, I hope that guilts them into sending it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And so here we have some Pat Ranger stuff. We got a lot of the Power Ranger stuff, as you can see right here, but we've got all the Lightning Collection figures that I own. Uh, so, well, there's there's more down there, but mainly this is just the initial Saban era, I guess you could say. So everything up to the uh, Wild Force. But obviously, we had the Psychos back there, and Astronema, and a bunch of bad guys, but then we've got Zordon right there, and Mighty Morphin team looking good and then yeah just more more rangers over here and of course more rangers and, and baddies over there and then down here we have sort of the ever expanding post post original saban era and really the only reason i split this up this way is just because there's so much mighty morphin and zordon era stuff and like this will build you know we'll get more of these eventually you know, we've got a pretty good amount of SBD figures, honestly, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got some Dino Thunder, Beast Morphers, which I put Beast Morphers sort of front and center just because, like, I, I feel like a lot of people from now on are going to think Beast Morphers and Hasbro, that's going to go hand in hand. And then the few Dino Charge figures that we have. Let's build out these teams, guys. Come on. <laughs> let's get some new... Let's, let's get back to Dino Charge, maybe. Maybe finish out Beast Morphers. Please let us finish out Beast Morphers. Uh, just some, some stuff down there. Not a whole lot. You know, it's it's mainly just books and then other things that I've sort of tossed aside. And yeah, nothing, nothing too, like, spectacular or nothing. Here we have the desk. So speaking of Beast Morphers, this is my Beast Morphers collection. Just because this is Hasbro's sort of first crack at Power Rangers stuff, I wanted to go ahead and collect pretty much all of the basic figures and, and everything. So there's that. There's the Morpher. And that includes the sort of, I, I guess, crossover special that they did as well. One thing is that there is supposed to be, like, these don't appear in the show by any means, but, like, they're figures, so I bought them. They're supposed to be a blue. It has not released yet. And at this point, I don't even know if it will. So this is going to go forever unfinished, which is unfortunate. Even though, I, like, they're kind of just silly, toyetic nonsense, but, you know, there's some bad guys too. Uh, just some Pokemon cards, just a box of cards and some other stuff. Um, my, my Pokemon video, uh, didn't do super well, <laughs> not gonna lie. So if you want to check that out, feel free to. Uh, it's got a lot of good responses, but not a lot of views. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and move up here real quick. This is just a wall of boxed figures. Not exactly like rare figures or whatever. They're just, I think they look nice. I'm a mainly out-of-box collector, as you can see from this video so far, but I like stuff in box too. So, you know, we've got some 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 Batman stuff. You know, my favorite Batman villain and my girlfriend's favorite Batman villain, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Why not? Um, this Thanos and Adam Warlock two-pack that I've had for quite some time now. Seamus, this is the first wrestling figure I ever purchased. We've got a Daredevil figure signed by Charlie Cox, some um, uh, an Amiibo, uh, Captain America, a Vintage Collection, X-Wing Pilot Luke Skywalker, uh, signed by Tara Strong there, uh, Arkham City, Harley Quinn, and then also signed by Tara Strong, we have a DC Universe Classics Raven figure. Fun story about this, um, I bought this figure, I had no intentions to get it signed, but I went to go talk to Tara Strong afterwards, and I showed her that I got these. She's like, oh, well, I'll sign them for you. And I was totally meant, like, meaning to open these, but then she signed them, and I was like, okay. So I just bought them again. Um, and then I still have that one out of box, which you saw on the shelf out there, but don't have this one anymore. Here's some Cody Rhodes figures. 
Big fan of Cody Rhodes. Uh, Stardust, of course, Cody, Cody Rhodes. Nothing different. And then down here we have my desk. Uh, we've got some figures here. We've got that new Cobra Commander. We've got Destro. We've got some Star Lords, of course. I like Star Lord. I really like movie Star Lord. I know people don't really like Chris Pratt anymore, but Star Lord himself is is a fan favorite of, for me. And then some, you know, Autobot leaders or pseudo Autobot leaders, I suppose. Maximals, Autobots, whatever. Just pick these up. I just think they're cool, cool figures. And then over here, we have the rest of the G.I. Joe figures. G.I. Joe Classified was a an interesting one in 2020. Uh, they showed off the designs at first. Everyone hated them. Then because of the Snake Eyes movie, they really didn't get a lot of like push out in retailers because the Snake Eyes movie was supposed to come out in October. That was supposed to go alongside these figures in store, but then that got pushed back. So these figures became harder to find because of that. A lot of people don't realize like that's a big reason as to why like the Cobra Island figures are hard to find is because the Cobra Island figures are supposed to sit next to a big display for the Snake Eyes movie. And then they didn't get to make the Snake Eyes movie <laughs> happen that year. So uh, some Cobra Commanders. Pretty cool. Uh, down here, we have some non-Hasbro Power Rangers stuff. Uh, so we've got some signatures there from the stars of Zuranger, Ranger, um, which is, of course, the Sentai uh, original series that Power Rangers is based on. We've got some Zeo figures. My girlfriend's a big fan of the Zeo. Uh, there's the Super Megaforce Morpher with some keys and... A Rito figure and then an Alpha, just some random non Hasbro Power Rangers things. Uh, here we have some, I guess you could say the sort of Japanese themed, anime themed. Um, obviously, we've got some like Yu Gi Oh stuff back here. We have some like Common Rider related figures. Obviously, we've got Dragon Ball, uh, Lionel, that's not an anime, but it's very heavily inspired with an anime style. And then some Gundam Seed figures, which my girlfriend is a fan of. Another step down, we have a video game section. Uh, I really like the Metroid franchise. I think Samus Aran is really, really cool, and I quite like the character and the design, so I have some Metroid games and some Metroid figures. There's Knuckles. Got Knuckles, the Echidna. There's a Goomber. There's a Sanic comic that came with the Blu-ray. <laughs> um, and Chell. Chell is another one of my favorite uh, video game characters. I love the Portal franchise, and I love Chell. Here is some other uh, figures down here. There's a cord in front of Robocop. There's some pops. Just various figures. There's, there's nowhere to put them, so they go here. It's, it's just that way. Uh, here's like a little like pile of accessories. They're just in little Ziploc baggies. So it's like alternate heads, weapons, effects pieces, whatever. Um, I realized I didn't really show it off too much, but here's my review station. So if you watch my videos with like the backdrop and everything, this is where I film. Uh, no, I do not plan on reviewing the Lightning Collection Power, you know, Morpher, but it's just because I don't know where this should go. And so it's just sort of sitting here on the review station. <laughs> okay, almost done folks. Uh, oh, real quick, right up here. This is a gift from uh, the creator of the Immortal Red Fox. This is a nice little figure that they had made. And uh, it's pretty neat. A Mortal Red Fox. It's a, it's an independent sort of comic and uh, just character in general. So if you check it out on YouTube, I'm, I'm sure you'll find out some cool videos. And you may find some videos where I'm in them. Uh, you may not recognize me because I'm in a suit similar to this one, but hey, you never know. Uh, this is just one of my lights just because I, I mean, I use this all the time. I'm not going to pack it up every time I need to use it, so... Whatever. <laughs> a real quick look at the closet here. I'm not going to spend too much time in here, but we've got some Sonic figures with the Green Hill playset. We've got Buzz Lightyear. We have a lot of the Lightning Collection boxes that I just can't seem to throw away for some reason because I'm a, a freak. We've got some Ninja Turtles. These were like $5 at Target. They were on clearance, so I purchased them. They're kind of neat. They're very toyetic. I will say that. And I would like to watch the show at some point. Just whenever that happens. Uh, we've got Black Series Luke Skywalker with that hideous face from the past. Uh, we've got the Iron Giant. We've got the Lightning Collection metallic pink ranger with the Catherine head. We've got some McDonald's 
Hercules toys. Uh, we also have the Milkomania, if you had a nose behind the turtles here. Woody, and some plushies, and that's really it for the closet. Then if we look up here, we have some Green Lantern comics just sort of displayed up there. It's like one of the first things I did when we got into this apartment, you know, a while ago. We've got some wrestling figures, NXT TakeOver figures here. We have Seth Rollins, and then we also have Asuka, who are two of my favorite WWE superstars. I don't watch a whole lot of WWE anymore, but when I did, you know, people like The Shield were popular. I mean, granted, when I was watching, The Shield were broken up already, but, you know, The Shield, they're still popular to this day. Obviously, one of these guys is, is doing very well in a different company, but don't worry about that. Um, down here, we have a collection of the Masters of the Universe Origins, as well as the WWE Turnia figures. Unfortunately, my Walmarts, uh, they overstocked on like the first two waves of the WWE one, so I haven't seen any of the later figures. Same goes for Masters of the Universe. I have all of Wave 1. Haven't seen the other one, so who knows if I ever will. Um... Here is where I would put my AEW figures if I had one. Um, yeah, as of now, I have seen one figure out in the wild. I have not seen any of Wave 1. I saw one, literally one, Hangman Adam Page, and that's it. Um, so for now, <laughs> there's just some, some stand-ins, uh, some WWE figures. And so hopefully someday, this will be filled with AEW wrestlers. Um, but for now, I have the WWE versions of those, those wrestlers. Uh, this guy, this guy, if you know, you know, right? What have I become? That's a good question. Uh, scrolling down here, we have more wrestling figures. These are just sort of various wrestlers and versions of those wrestlers that I like. So obviously you'll see we have a big collection of Kurt Angle figures. I actually have a full collection of every elite Kurt Angle figure there is, including the entrance greats. And then if you count the Milko mania back there. But Kurt Angle is my personal favorite wrestler. Um, I think that he is just all around a great performer, a great worker, a great talent. So he's he's fantastic. But just other wrestling figures as, as well. A few Seth Rollins. Big Seth Rollins fan. Uh, Hurricane. Kane. <laughs> Cody Rhodes. Uh, Sydney, Australia. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then more WWE figures. You know, just various WWE figures, that's all. That's that's really it. Nothing nothing too crazy. But really, guys, that's that's the collection. That's the whole apartment tour. I, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's always really fun showing off the collection. I love seeing other people's collections. So it's just it's just a fun thing to look at toys, guys. You know, 2020 was obviously weird. We had to shift some stuff here around in the apartment. But all in all, it, it really worked out, I would say. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out some other videos if you like. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram, at Anthony Lantern, where I post things. Like I said, feel free to check it out if you like. Um, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. All just all just YouTube, YouTube stuff. That's really it, guys. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, of course, as we always do, we have to end on a face. So I think for this time, let's end on the good brothers here. Well, not the, if you, not the good brothers, but yeah. Wah.